I'm Mel and this first video is going to be my first income report for Amazon KDP. I'm going to give you a little bit of background to start with and then reveal the amount of money that I made in that first four weeks. So let's grab this. What I did, it was sometime around March or April of 2021. I had the bright idea that I was going to do KDP. I watched a few videos and I uploaded three notebooks and then promptly kind of forgot about it just thought to myself I'll pick it up again one day it could be you know a good idea it could be something that I enjoy and I didn't get any emails through saying that I had got a sale because I thought it worked a bit like Redbubble does where you get a little email through saying that you've sold something and I was expecting that if I made any sales I would get that come through but what happened instead is I don't know must have been about three months later I mean looking at this I sold a notebook in June didn't I so I'm not sure when I would have been notified about the payout, probably August actually. That kind of makes sense with these numbers. So beginning of August, I must have got this email saying that I had this payout due to me and I think it was something like £1.81, <laughs> £1 something. And I couldn't quite work out what it was for, then realised it was this KDP thing and went back into my account and realised I'm not going to get an email every time I sell something because actually that would be completely ridiculous now that I realise how many books people can sell in a day and realised that I'd, I'd had these two sales I'd had one one notebook selling June and then the same one sold again in July it just gave me this real sort of feeling that oh this works like this is real you can definitely make a profit from it for me to have put three notebooks on and for one of them to have sold a couple of times and just with me doing absolutely nothing, I thought, I quite like this, <laughs> I quite like this. Um, didn't do anything about it in August, but in um, about halfway through September, I made a load of notebook kind of covers and I uploaded, I think I uploaded something, I say a load of, I think I uploaded about 10 to 12 of them and they got approved right at the end of September and the very next day, one of these no content notebooks sold and I just looked at it and I was just like oh my goodness like it really really works um so that's where those first three sales come from that are on this particular chart um and then it's the October one that we're going to take a closer look at because I continue to upload notebooks and managed to get a few sales so let's have a look at that so as you can see I made eight sales in October. As you can see, three of the books sold twice and then a couple of other random ones sold and they were just lined notebooks. So I was I was kind of quite pleased, I was kind of quite chuffed that I managed to sell anything. I'd set my target of making about £10. So if we go to my royalties estimator for October, you can see that I did actually crack the £10 mark. I made £10.46. pence. So 46 pence over my target that I set myself. I think it was more that I just wanted to practice uploading and I really just wanted to make an amount of money that could buy me something, that could make a difference and just something to get started with and something that proves that it works. And for me, a tenner was just that. And I just noted down some of these things because you might find those interesting as well. I didn't run any Amazon ads, I didn't do any other marketing on Pinterest or anything like that, I just concentrated on uploading some notebooks. I didn't make any financial investment, I mean you can see, you can tell I have Canva but I've used Canva for all of my other businesses so I suppose you could say that a share of my Canva Pro subscription would like if I spread it across all of my different income streams that I use it for maybe a pound like a dollar fifty kind of went towards this maybe if you look if you look at it like that but it was a pre-existing subscription so I haven't kind of added anything into this business afresh. I ended up with 61 books published by the end of the month and a lot of those were approved right at the end of the month as well so that they kind of weren't really part of my October offerings if you like. I uh, The type of books that I had on there were 11 diaries, they were amongst the last things that I added, 
and 50 no content notebooks, so lines or dot grid. Um, five different designs sold, so 8.3% of my total number of designs, although like I said, most of them weren't on there for the majority of the month. Um, eight sales in total, and the most books sold in one day was two, and like I said, I made, or like I showed you, I made £10.46, which roughly converts to $14.32. I also came away from October thinking, right, I've put a decent amount into this. Like, I haven't been working flat out. I've got lots of stuff kind of going on. I was, um, like, decorating my house, um, all of these other income streams. So I still do the reselling on eBay that I mentioned at the beginning, and my, like, sales are starting to increase on there, so that takes up a little bit more time. Anyway, I thought I'd put a reasonable amount into it and thought, what have I learned? Definitely learned that the cover is wildly important on the no content notebooks. I mean, it's fairly obvious. There, there aren't really any other selling points to them. So I really, really focused on, on getting that right and making sure that mine stand out. The fact that a handful of them have now sold for the first time, I'm thinking like I've done a, a reasonable job on that. And I can, I can definitely tell the difference between the very first ones that I was making and putting on and the more recent ones definitely look a lot better and they are the ones that are selling for the most part. Um, I also <laughs> very painfully learnt the difference between bleed and no bleed or rather I understood the difference between the two but I couldn't figure out how to get my interior sizes right and um, layouts right to kind of match whether I'd put bleed or no bleed. I was, I was getting myself in a right pickle about it when actually it's really quite simple and maybe I will make a video on it in future. The other thing that I was quite pleased about that I would say requires maybe a little bit more work but I feel like I set up a fairly efficient workflow as in I've got folders with various designs and interiors in them and they're all kind of labelled up. I've got some sort of sample descriptions which I use as the basis for the different um, notebooks and things. I've got some keyword banks for certain niches for the notebooks that I've gone into and I think all of those things will stand me in good stead moving forward and it's definitely something that I want to keep like keep up with and maintain because yeah a really good workflow for me makes kind of all the difference in terms of the smooth running of um, online incomes, especially because I've got quite a few different ones on the go. Um, I also worked out which sizes I prefer for different types of notebook. For composition notebooks, which are called exercise books in the UK for the most part, like school notebooks, I have worked out what size I prefer for those and also the number of pages. I started off by, for example, making them with 200 pages in them. And then what I did is I, oh, actually this is an investment in the business. I completely forgot that I did this, but it's worth mentioning. I spent 20 pounds on getting a load of sample notebooks and I tried to pick different cover designs, different sizes and interiors and numbers of pages just so that I could have them in front of me and just like get a real sense of what the books look like when they go to the customer. So as a result of that, I realized that 200 pages for a composition or an exercise book, it felt too much, <laughs> especially having been a teacher in school and having you know worked with exercise books, with composition books a lot, and realizing that the ones that I was producing were just too thick and heavy with the 200 pages so I've kind of learned to reduce the number of pages I've also got the kind of the dimensions right and the same with the other notebooks I tried out 7 by 10 and realized I didn't like that it felt wrong <laughs> I didn't like that particular size for the notebooks and so I've switched to 6 to 9 for the most part for the regular notebooks um, I can't remember off the top of my head what the composition notebook size is. Also have pl played around with number of pages, like I said. Anyway, so I, I feel like I've sussed that out, which again feeds into this workflow and means that I'm not constantly second guessing myself and thinking, oh, I should try this size or what size shall I make this? I kind of, I have, I have a couple of things like set in stone as to size and number of pages and stuff. And the other thing that I thought was fantastic about October was relating to what I just said, a real chance to experiment in 
lots of different things. Um, I tried using, you know, photography for the covers of notebooks, different graphics. I made my own um, patterns. I tried out different ways to almost like to put like the title on the notebook and, and kind of worked out what looked better. Just things like different compositions and layouts and, and things on the covers. So I think it was really a really good chance to just to play. And as I put as my last point, I actually really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. And I have this little feeling of excitement because I am one of those people that just I love reading, I love books, I love stationery, <laughs> I'm obsessed with notebooks. Um, and the fact that I can now produce my own and work on things that really, really interest me, I think probably far, certainly more than the eBay reselling does. And I think possibly more than, a bit more than the Etsy and the Redbubble um, shops that I, I run. I, I really, really enjoyed it, really, really loved it. So. So yeah, that's that's good, and I'm just I'm hoping that I I do build on this month by month, but we shall see, <laughs> we shall see. And actually, given the time that I'm recording this, I will be putting out my November sales report fairly swiftly after this, I think. So I do have a little idea in my head about where this month might take me. But anyway, we will talk about that after this video. So my targets for month two then, targets for November, we're in at the moment, is I want to earn 25 pounds in royalties. And it's so, like that sounds like such a tiny number to other people probably. I should say 25 quid, 25 pounds is probably maybe around 35-ish dollars. It's that sort of, um, that sort of ballpark. 25 pounds to me just feels like if I could get that rolling in every month, it's just it's great like that pays for a that pays for a meal out for me like a lunch out with a friend or you know a day with my mom or just it's significant and it, it matters and it means something and if I could get that I would be so happy and I'm hoping that the momentum of Q4 will kind of help me get there as well as um, uploads hmm. yeah <laughs> we'll see about the uploads but um, the yeah that the uploads will be really really um, yeah, we'll make a difference, that's what I'm trying to say. What I'm hoping for in terms of my um, uploads is that I will have a total of 50 notebooks um, uploaded, 25 diaries, and then 75 books overall. So I'm, I'm basically there with the notebooks. I need to go back through and count them, but I th I'm pretty sure um, I've got about 50 of those, and that it's actually the diaries that I need to, to upload um, in November. I want to have, sort of by the end of November, I want to have, at least started working on like a, a pro proper low content book. So maybe a puzzle book, an activity book, a coloring book, something along those lines, just something that's a bit more that, maybe a planner, I don't know, but just something that's a bit more than just the lined or the dot grid notebooks, which, you know, I'm getting some sales from, so I'm not knocking those at all. And I, I would eventually, I think eventually like maybe, would quite like to have maybe 200 250 no content notebooks is almost like a a kind of like a foundation <laughs> to the business i don't know i don't i don't know i don't really know anything yet but we will see um see how we go so that's it from me for this first income report like i said it's not going to be that long because i come recording this quite far into November. Um, it's not going to be that long before the November income report comes out and it's from where I am at the moment it's a bit haphazard but it will be really interesting to see in the next video like what's happened by the very end of the month. So yeah thank you so much for watching this video. Um, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if the video is interesting to you and if the types of income stream that I have mentioned interest you then subscribe so you can stick around for any future videos. So yeah thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you again soon.